each piece and we'll know how much cost we had in it, how much overhead, and then we'll have a value for that individual panel. But we can't do that until we finish today. And then we can finally invoice the last amount of it. to what they had to say about their lives as veterinarians and what they wanted the space to do. And so when we came away from that, one of the things that we heard about is that it's, it's the vet and the animal and the relationship between them. So I started thinking about art and history, and I thought of Native American totems and the Medusa with her hair all made out of snakes and, and um, so when it was all said and done, I decided we were going to do something like a totem pole where the animal and the vet are all entwined and one is one. It becomes one. Um, is there a message you would like to convey? In general or in this, with these pieces? Well, I am a huge lover of animals and I am certain that the human relationship certainly in a small animal setting, is about that love and bond between human beings and animals. And that anybody who would be coming here believes strongly in that relationship as far as the bigger world is concerned. So um, I wanted to represent the panels, not just small animals who come here, but the animal kingdom in general. Because if I had just done cats and dogs and puppies and little gerbils, if somebody's here with a really sick animal, that's not going to get their mind off of it. But looking at animals from all parts of the world in all sorts of habitats, it might get your mind off the fact that your puppy is sick. So that's why I did the panels this way. And these two sculpture pieces, the gentle doctor was the inspiration for that, where we want to show the vet and show the vet in a relationship with the I can't tell you hours, minutes, and days, but I can tell you that we started working on the panels in, it must have been November or December of last year. We started the design process and we started the research, finding good images of animals that we could work on, because obviously I can't trot a breed of dog in that I don't own, otherwise it would be all Labradors here, because that's what I own, <laughs> or I'd have to borrow and that's beagles. <laughs> but anyway, we started doing the research in November or December of last year, and then we started our composition phase of how we were going to lay out all these panels, and then by the beginning of this summer, we started drawing them and finishing them. The sculpture pieces were started uh, the 1st of July. And we're just finished today. Just with, today. With their whiskers. The whiskers were the last thing to go on. Did it come out the way you Uh huh. It's exactly what I visualized. And if you were ever so interested, you could go to the archives at the Brunier Museum for any work that any artist does for the Iowa State campus, and you will find all of their archival drawings and their models whatever they're writing down and thinking, whatever it was that they needed as preliminary work that you don't see here is archived there. So you'd be able to see all my original little drawings with this idea. In drawings, not two dimensional. And then we, we I had um, our photographer at Sticks took different pictures along the way. I don't know, we got so involved in this, we may have forgotten to take pictures of this being drawn, burned, and painted, Lynette. So I forgive me. Working so okay. I've got some Okay. Um, take as many classes as you can take things that are completely unrelated to design. Because when you're done with art school, you're going to be servicing people who are in different businesses and industries and everyone's home is different and everybody's interests are different and the more you can know about the more people and activities in the world, um, the more you're going to be able to tell their stories or give messages or sell something or whatever it is you're doing through your design.
So don't be afraid to take a class you think you might hate that has nothing to do with art. Because it will feed in your storytelling. Well, three things. I get to make art, which is what I went to school doing. doing. Um, I've learned to understand the world of business. And that we made something that they're going to. 